you want to know one of the reasons why I love this time of year so much? Turtlenecks. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. All right, hey there, fashion friends. Today is a brand review video. Yay! One of my favorite type of videos, yes, because what I love, what's going on here? One of my favorite type of episodes to make because for the fact that I love being able to share good brands with people so that people have good brands to choose from when they need to shop. So the brand that we are looking at today is Saint and Sophia. Yes, newbie on the block. So Saint Sophia started in January of 2020. Yes, yes, you heard me correctly. January, just before the COVID lockdown. Wow, you know the brand's gotta have some gumption, some grit to make it through lockdown. So the brand is built up of people that come from really great backgrounds within the fashion industry. This brand is doing things a little bit differently so that they can bring this product to people at a very decent price. But really what attracted me to this brand is just their simplicity as well as their sustainable approaches to the production. And this is not a sponsored video. However, Saint Sophia did send me over these pieces so that I was able to do this review here for you guys today. So let's take a look. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at four pieces from Saint and Sophia today. The first item we're gonna look at is their cable knit sweater. I got this in color khaki because I'm loving me some of this army green action. This sweater retails for $80. And I got this in a size small. This does fit true to size. So if you do want this to be a little more of an oversized, looser fit, I would suggest sizing up maybe one or two sizes, depending on how how oversized you want it to be. The fabric is 100% cotton. This is your classic cable net stitch sweater. And the only thing I would say about this is that it does end up having a little bit of see-through holes as you can expect with some cable knit sweaters. The thing that I like about this cable knit sweater is I don't often come across cable knit sweaters that actually have a V-neck. Normally a cable knit sweater is going to be a crew neck or even a higher neck. So I do like that it has that V-neck. So if you wanted to wear a button up shirt underneath, it'd be a really fun way to kind of show off that button up underneath the V-neck, V-neck, V-neck. Well, that sounds fancy. V-neck, the V-neck sweater, V-neck sweater. Good way to layer with the v-neck sweater so what will i be wearing this with well like i said before i like the idea of wearing a button-up shirt underneath or maybe a crew neck t-shirt underneath but then pairing them with the putney pant from satan sophia which we will get into later um, i love this look because it just is very effortless, but I also like the idea of wearing these with some boyfriend jeans, or maybe it's just wearing them with some really tight, um, high-waisted jeans and you just do a little tuck with it. But ultimately a classic piece that really um, can be translated into any style, any style aesthetic. Okay, piece number two is the Putney pant. I got this in color black. This retails for $60. And I got a size four with a 31 inch inseam. You can get this pant in three different inseams. I love when brands give options for inseams because no leg is created equal. So I love having choices. I wanted it to be a little bit longer. I wanted a little bit of that extra length because I liked the idea of being able to have them drape over the shoe versus looking a little bit more cropped. I would say I'm normally around a four or a six. So I did go with a four and they do fit perfectly. So I would say they're probably on, I feel like everybody has their range of sizes. They have their, you know, two different sizes. So I would say go with your smaller size that you normally would, depending on how you want it to fit. I wanted them to be 
a little bit tighter fitting. I didn't want them to be too loose. And this is a straight leg fit, a uh, very comfortable fit. So these are pull-on pants, so they have the elastic band, which is really nice. It's just kind of a nice change up to my otherwise always wearing jeans. And it also makes it a little bit more flexible in sizing. Okay, so these are 60% polyester, 35% viscose, and 5% elastine. Not my favorite blend of fibers, I have to say. Not a massive fan with polyester when it comes to pants, um, but I do like that they are blended with the viscose, so it does add some softness to it, as well as the elastine adding that nice bit of stretch. But they do definitely drape really nice because of this blend. I love that these are super comfortable, but very stylish. They're kind of like loungewear, but like under the radar loungewear, if you get what I'm saying, which I love. Because of the fabric, it makes it easy to wear these casually, casual, in a casual way, as well as in a sophisticated way. Making them casual by wearing some sneakers with them. I like the idea of wearing these with like a platform pair of sneakers, or you could wear these with some boots or some high heels to add that height and therefore adding that sophistication. Okay, so item number three is going to be the classic roll neck sweatshirt. I got this in color navy and I got it in a size six. This retails for $60. So the fabric on this is lovely. It is 95% organic cotton and 5% elastine. I love this combination. It's just super soft, super breathable, just nice and airy, but still keeping you warm and cozy. This is actually made from GOTS certified organic cotton. So what will I be styling these with? Again, I love the fact that you can style this sweatshirt in a casual way or a more sophisticated way. I kind of like the idea of just being able to throw this on with a pair of leggings um, around the house, but it also looks really good with the Putney pant, of course. Or yeah, you can wear them with a pair of jeans, skinny jeans, straight jeans, wide leg jeans. And this sweatshirt definitely sets itself apart from other sweatshirts just by the material as well as the silhouette. Okay, and item number four is the Cambridge Blazer. So I got this in color black and I got it in a size six as well. This retails for $160. I will say that this is definitely true to size. If you want it to be a little bit more oversized, uh, you could go a size up, but yeah, I wanted mine to be a little bit more tailored the main fabric is 96% cotton with 4% elastine, which I kind of like because it kind of adds a little bit more wiggle room within the blazer. Cause sometimes when you have a tailored blazer, it can be a little bit constricting. So I like, I like that bit of stretch. So the length of this does hit below the hips. So it is such a great option for layering. I absolutely love it for that purpose. I love that it's got sort of an oversized fit, but at the same time, very tailored. I love the construction, the tailoring in the shoulders, just really adds the crispness to the silhouette, even down to the buttons, just impeccably uh, attached to the blazer. I'm, I have a thing, I have a thing with buttons. I always check buttons when I get things because I hate when you get something and the buttons feel like they're gonna fall off like almost immediately. So as soon as I get things, I, I check the buttons and how well they're attached to the piece. What can I say? You're not, you're not watching my channel for my lack of attention to detail, that's for sure. So what will I be styling this with? Everything. This is probably going to be my go-to blazer for this season, for sure. They look real good paired with the Putney pan as well. All right, you guys, there we have it. That is Saint and Sophia. I have to say, I'm uh, pretty pumped on what I've seen from this brand so far. Super excited to see what else they come out with. And again, a special thanks to Saint and Sophia for sending me these pieces so that I was able to do this review for you guys today. I will definitely link everything below so that you can check out this brand and their product. If you have any further questions, feel free to list them below. I will be happy to answer them for you. Okay, I think that's it for today. Yeah, if you liked today's episode, you know what to do give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe for future weekly episodes. All right, you stay safe, healthy, love, and support each other. We will definitely be chatting soon. Bye!